Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to walk you through how to use the Sleep Data app, which can now transfer O2 data from an O2 ring to Sleep HQ on Android devices. This feature has been available for Apple devices, but now Android users can enjoy it too. Let's get started. First, head to the Google Play Store and download the app called Sleep Data. Once the installation is complete, you can either create a free account or sign in with your Google account if you have one. After you've signed up, the first thing you'll want to do is go to the Settings section. Here, you'll need to enter your API Client ID and Client Secret from Sleep HQ. This step is super important as it lets the Sleep Data app communicate with your Sleep HQ account. To get your API credentials from Sleep HQ, I'll switch over by tapping the Sleep HQ menu item at the bottom of the screen. Now, in Sleep HQ, open the menu and select Account Settings at the bottom. Scroll down to the API Keys section and tap on the blue Add API Key button. To make the API credentials visible, tap on the API key name at the beginning of the line. You'll see both the client ID and the client secret that we need for the Android app. Next, tap the Copy button next to the client ID. Now, switch back to the Sleep Data app and press the Paste button in the client ID field. Then, go back to Sleep HQ, tap the Copy button next to the client secret, switch back to the Sleep Data app again, and paste it into the client secret field. Once you've pasted both credentials, tap on Save. If everything went well, the Sleep Data app should now be connected to Sleep HQ. To check the connection, tap the green Test Sleep HQ connection button. After a few seconds, you'll see a message that says successfully connected to Sleep HQ. Great. We've now successfully set up the Sleep Data app. This only needs to be done once, and the app will remember your credentials from now on. Now, let me show you how to share data from your O2 ring with Sleep HQ. First, open up the VI Health app. Select the date you're interested in from the History section. Once you're on the Review screen, tap the Share icon in the top right-hand corner. When it asks for the file format, make sure to choose CSV. In the Data Sharing screen, select the Sleep Data app. This will open up the Sleep Data app again. Now, on the Send File screen, select your Sleep HQ account and press Send. After the data has been sent, you'll see a success screen. You can now press the blue View in Sleep HQ button to check out your data. As you can see, the SpO2 pulse rate and movement data from your O2 ring are now available in Sleep HQ. And that's it! You've successfully connected your O2 ring to Sleep HQ on your Android device using the Sleep Data app. Thanks for watching and enjoy tracking your sleep data.